weekly vlog. Welcome to my very frizzy hair and welcome to Vlogmas. I'm right on cue. As you saw, we just decorated the parlor tree. This one we just keep pretty simple. We got um, a thing of Wonder Shop bulbs last year. It was 30 bucks for 100 ornaments, not bad. Also, is this gold to you or is this green? I guess it does look green. We're arguing about whether it's gold or green. I think it's a little of both, maybe. But it's definitely going to be hard to keep Milo off the bulbs of the tree, pulling them off. I might get those things. I've seen them everywhere on TikTok from Lowe's of their toddler proof, so they can't get the bulbs off. What's the matter? Come here. So that is our tree so far. I might have to, if we can get him to stop touching or we get those anchor things, we'll put a few more on. I'm holding mine now, by the way. But there we go. Parlor tree somewhat done. <laughs> oh, I love you, monkey. Okay, no, don't eat my hair. Camera's still going. Okay, it is much later now. I worked all of Milo's nap. He had a three hour nap and I had a three hour just stint of work. I got a lot of good stuff done. I got a reel uploaded, a video uploaded. Milo's currently among his toy mess. Can you see Ludo on the couch in a sweater? But Milo's watching his shows. I'm preparing a very odd dinner. I made focaccia from scratch this time. I made it in a fall vlog and I loved doing it. I loved decorating it. I used a Trader Joe's mix that I totally would have used and bought again, but they didn't have it. So I tried Kiri Rad's recipe. I did mess up several times though. I added the olive oil in too late and I completely forgot the salt in the dough. There's like salt and herbs on top. Um, I took a little taste. It's not bad, but it's not, it would be better with salt. Um, but I did get creative with the art. I loved the way the tomatoes like baked in tasted. So I did more tomato flowers and then I did some mushrooms. This is a tomato and then that's like an actual mushroom stem and I just put some like sesame seeds on top. Then we're having chicken meatballs from Trader Joe's and then also roasted red pepper tomato soup. I love this stuff, especially with some parsley on top and I'm gonna dip that bread in it. Um, I don't know why we're having this dinner. I said it this morning and brother's like, yeah, that sounds great. <laughs> I was like, okay. So I'm just going to assemble plates and then we're going to eat up. chocolate last year I've explained this a thousand times but I growing up did not like hot chocolate I am very weird about like hot liquids like I don't want to drink them but you like that Starbucks apple cider oh my gosh the Starbucks mm. <laughs> the, the Starbucks caramel apple spice I lived on in high school I'm not a coffee person I keep getting caught <laughs> <laughs> the caramel apple spice at Starbucks is everything and I hadn't had one in like 15 years and I got one at Target the other day while I was there by myself and it was blissful. But anyway, so thinking about after having the baby, I can't get enough chocolate. I've, I've never been like this before. And so last year I like learned how to make my own hot chocolate and so I made myself a cup this evening and I used my new Johanna Parker mug. We filmed a cutie reels on it. I don't know if it'll be up yet by the time this goes up, but um... Just look at this mug. She's just so cute. It'll be very awkward to drink out of, but super cute. And lots of marshmallows. It's also about to start raining for at least all night. Um, and so Bradley likes to, I'm sorry, this is crappy video. I'm on my phone because I left the camera upstairs, but Bradley likes to bring in the cushions. Just put them in the garage to protect they say them. They're waterproof, which is- It just, yeah, makes things easier. Things my lemon tree is so happy. We have some twigs for our fireplace. I also wanted to show you at my mother's house on Thanksgiving, she has a Meyer lemon tree and I took a bunch of them. And she also had kumquats, which I haven't tried because I don't know how you're supposed to eat them. Do you just put the whole thing in your mouth? That seems weird. But I love this bowl of lemons back here. It's very fancy. Hi guys, it is the next day now. I don't even know what day, Friday. We got a Christmas pooch in a sweater. <laughs> I'm getting ready to film. I thought I'd show you some behind the scenes. Also the Christmas tree, it's beautiful. Um, but it's a rainy day. I think I, yeah, I mentioned that. We're due for like four rainy days in a row, which I love. Um, but we got my lights, my camera, 
And then I finally set up a Christmassy background and I love it. How cute, my Target pillows. If you missed my holiday home decor haul, I'll link that. Finally switched out the strand to the colorful lights. I'm whispering because Milo's asleep, which I guess it's a bad time to film, but I will. My mini Christmas tree that I usually have in my office and a little candle. Um, I have a little towel down because I'm mentioning some bath bombs in the video I'm filming and I don't want to make a mess. Moody's definitely gonna have to move, so. Yeah. Hey guys, so filming is done. I actually, while I have makeup on, and I might even try to put it up today, I wanna to film one more thing today, but it's just a quick reel. And it's so simple, but changing out these lights to colorful lights makes me so damn happy. That tree will go back in my office. I'll just put it in here when I'm filming. But yeah, I finished filming my videos for the day, besides this vlog, I guess. But I just wanted to sit down for a second and chat about the sponsor of today's video, which is BetterHelp. I've talked about BetterHelp many times before, it is the biggest online therapy network and it's all online, which is so cool. You guys know I'm a huge advocate for therapy and mental health. Therapy literally changed my life, made my life better, made my life easier. And if you even considered therapy and you're getting to that place where you wanna try it, it could change your life too. It is spectacular to have like an unbiased person to talk to about anything and to get their advice and their input. The kind of therapy I had was CBT therapy, which is a very specific therapy for OCD and it's only a 12 week program, but I still have regular check-ins with my therapist. And even though sometimes I know, which this is very specific to my mental health. So um, take this with a grain of salt. But even though like if I'm having OCD flare ups, I almost know always what she's going to say, but for some reason, just hearing her say it. And every time we have a session, see, she says something that I like write down on a post-it and I stick on my computer for a month. And it's just, it's so nice to have a therapist that you love and that you trust and that really, really can help you. BetterHelp has over 25,000 licensed, experienced therapists. All you'll do is take a simple quiz, answer a few questions about yourself so that they can match you with who they deem to be a good therapist for you. But if you disagree, you can change therapists at no cost, which I think is so important. It can take some um, work to find the right therapist match, but when you find it, it's magical. Once you are matched with a the therapist, you can message them immediately and set up a session any way you want. It can be a video call, just a phone call. It could be online messaging, however you're comfortable doing therapy, which I just think is so cool. I feel like a lot of the stigma of therapy is like having to go to the office, turning on the light switch that you're there, waiting in the waiting room, and then you're laying on the couch. And if that's what's stopping you from going to therapy, I think BetterHelp will be a great option because it gives you options. And I just, therapy for all. I love therapy. I want everybody to have more access to it. And I just think it is super cool. So if you would like to try, you can use my link, which is BetterHelp. That's betterhelp.com slash Amy Lynn for 10% off your first month of therapy. Therapy can be life-changing and I truly want it for everybody. So if you're ready to try again, check out my link. I'll have it right in the description for 10% off your first month. And thank you again to BetterHelp for sponsoring this portion of the video. While we're talking about mental health, I actually, I've been feeling pretty good. I've done a lot of things recently that just make me anxious or make me nervous. One of which, well, two of which I, in the same like month, almost the same week, I went on an airplane, which I hadn't done in years because of the pandemic and I went to the dentist. Those two things give me like irrational anxiety and I know a lot of people are afraid of the dentist and of flying. So they're very two common fears, but it was my first time doing both since having the CBT training in my brain and I'm so proud of myself and I just, I think, I think there's also something to like dreading something for a long time. I had to wait for my dentist appointment forever because my specific hygienist that I love, everybody loves her and she had a very long waiting list. And I was like, I'll do it, I'll wait. Which almost made it worse because I knew it was coming. But that's good for CBT, you sit in the uncertainty. <laughs> but yeah, I think a lot of it, it just feels good that both of them are done and they both went okay. It's also just like the holidays and it's so much more magical with my son. This is his second Christmas, but I feel like all the Christmases forever are just gonna be more and more magical with a child. Like I just am so excited. And I feel like even next year is gonna be even better because he'll really kind of be able to like grasp the idea of Santa Claus and all that. Um, he's certainly enjoying the decorations and the lights and he's going to love ripping presents open and getting new toys. Like he loves toys and books and all that. And he knows how to rip open a present now. But yeah, I've just been feeling happy. I'm working a lot, but I'm, not, I'm trying not to stress myself out because 
it's a busy time of year no matter what, but I also like always pile on the content because it's a fun time for content. So I'm just trying to balance, you know, the time at my computer and the time with my family and just squeeze in editing where I can so I can get things up for you guys. Because I also love it. I love watching it back. I just, I love it. I'm excited about all the like recipes I want to share this month on mostly on Instagram reels. I filmed it last night. I told you my hot chocolate that I love, my spritz cookies, maybe Bradley stuffing, um, but just like fun DIYs. I just, I love a quick little DIY reel. It just makes me happy. But anyway, I'm blabbering. But yeah, I'm feeling good. Feeling a little tired, but you know, that's mom life. I think we're gonna have fun plans this evening. Milo just woke up from his nap. Bradley and I just had lunch. I'm gonna film this quick reel and then I'm gonna head downstairs. Hey guys, it's a little bit later on. I have my super cute hat on because it's chilly out, but there's a break in the rain, so we're going to get a Christmas tree. Get your puffer jacket on. That one's cute. That one's nice. We're spending a lot of time debating on what we got last year and we can't remember. That is a fabulous one. I remember one. buying the cheaper type of tree. Yeah, These we got Douglas cheap. These are not noble that one's nice. Also, for the cheaper type, it looks great. I like that one better than that one. I think they're not one. as smellier, that's the thing. That's all right. They still, it still smelled great. Um, I like that one so far. We found our perfect tree. They're hooping it up. Mila Man's having a good time. Just took some family photos. <laughs> good. We have our perfect tree up. Bradley lit a fire. I just put Milo to bed. It is absolutely magical down here. Ludie's chilling. We got a whole lot of toys we gotta pick up. I think we're gonna let it fall for maybe an hour and then put lights on it, but we're gonna hold off on decorations for tonight. Ludie doesn't like the crackling fire. So I look disheveled, looking good. But if my husband doesn't mind while he does the dishes, I'm gonna go take a bath. <laughs> he silently shrugged. We got in bed last night and I said, you obviously know what we're watching, right? It took Amy yeah. too long ago. It was Muppets Christmas Carol. Oh, of course, Muppets Christmas Carol. In the season of now, Christmas, uh, we watch Muppets Christmas Carol pretty much every night as we're falling asleep. We're it's gonna, just I comforting. I can't wait to watch it tonight. Do you remember when you fell asleep last night? Instantly. <laughs> no, you made it. I made it to, this the is an song. island in the sun. That's our favorite line. <laughs> Which on December 9th. That's what I was just about to say. Oh, I peeped your story. On December 9th, they're re-releasing it with a new song? It's the 30th anniversary. Oh, the Christmas 30th anniversary. I saw they were on the news today. All the Muppets. Oh my God. I love Rizzo the Rat so much. <laughs> Rizzo, Gonzo, like all our favorite characters. Gonzo's okay. Characters. Like, I, Gonzo's fine. I like, I love, Pe we love Pepe. Rizzo and Pepe together is yeah. my little life. <laughs> uh, but they're re-releasing it for the 30th anniversary and it's gonna have a never seen before song. Can't so, wait. They, this is boring. People love this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go take a bath. I feel really guilty, but that's what I'm gonna do. Do you see what I'm doing? You're like cutting my face. <laughs> I don't know. I'm so tired. Oh. If I come down here and there's no warm cookies, we're gonna have a problem. What if I just like heated up special cookies? <laughs> <laughs> Out of the oven. <laughs> Me putting special cookies like in a cookie sheet. Also, they would like melt. <laughs> like, they would, like the, they're basically like the chocolate pirouettes. <laughs> they, 
it, the chocolate would just melt and run out the hole in the side. The whole thing would just, <laughs> like a taquito. <laughs> okay. The bath time, cookie time, dishes time, lights on the tree time, you movie time. This whole time. Oh, the tree is crooked. It, it actually got better though once you like fully took the thing off. Okay, I'll see you. Bye. Guys, you know what time it is. It's that time of the night. I know where it is. This is my third Christmas, my third advent calendar, and I know how it works. Every night, I get a delicious salmon and sweet potato dog treat. Hold on, I have to unwrap this. This is your second one of the day, because we forgot to give it to you yesterday. A happy treated boy. Is it getting one four more? ones in one packet? Summer one, summer two. Oh, we excited? Oh my god, it's delicious. What a delicious treat for a delicious booch. Good boy. That's it, I'm sorry. I really am. Even though sometimes it's... Happy Sunday, this is terrible lighting, there we go. My perfect Christmas tree. But hi, hello, happy Sunday. We did not vlog at all yesterday, which I kind of regret. I didn't take a single picture or video last night, but last night was the, I guess like release party slash concert slash show situation for my dad's book, which as you're seeing this is available. I will link it down below. I highly suggest the audio book because my dad is a radio personality and has a great voice and can tell a story. Also, I can't read, <laughs> just listen. I'm like Leah Michelle. just kidding. <laughs> Merry Christmas, I love pumpkins. What was I saying? Oh, but yes, we didn't vlog at all. Yesterday we were just, um, well, to be honest, TMI, I'm on my period, so I was lazier than usual. I'm always lazy. I'm struggling today because of course Milo woke up at 6 a.m. We got to bed at two. So I didn't put on mascara today because you can bet that when Milo naps, I'm napping. But I did just want to say if I met so many of you guys and so many of you told us that you loved our vlogs and I just, I wanna say thank you, first of all, for the compliments for me, but thank you, thank you, thank you for coming out to support my dad, support my family. If you've supported the book, thank you so much. But yeah, it was a great night. I regret not taking photos or videos, but I was just enjoying myself and yeah. So today's gonna be a struggle. Ludie's there in his sweater, Milo's there in his pumpkins. We put the lights on the tree. The tree is literally perfection. Like I, I could not have asked for a better tree. I think it's better than last year's tree. We do need a tree skirt. We do need a camera that will freaking focus. But just all of these decorations are so magical. When Milo goes down for a nap, I'm going to decorate this tree. Oh, Bradley's gonna go get us in and out. Ah, oh, it's Sunday. We only have two ornaments on the tree. We got my dragon fruit. Both of these were featured in my uh, Christmas haul. I'll link it up in the corner if I haven't already this video. But they were just sitting on the counter so I put them on the tree. My dragon fruit in my mush room. So far, he's left this tree alone and so we'll see when I get all the fun ornaments on. I'll put like softer, like that felt dragon fruit can go towards the bottom. Just in case, you know, he gets a hold of it and I don't want him to hurt himself or break anything. So. Yeah, but also I w almost didn't put up his tree in his room because I was like, oh, he's totally just gonna knock it over. He hasn't touched it once. So if you're in the same boat as us, at least give it a try because you never know. <laughs>
finished the tree. I just finished Home Alone. I was starting Home Alone too, but I've never seen it like properly. So Bradley's like, pause it and watch it properly. Don't watch it while we eat. You were, you were unsure how he gets lost again. You need to watch the first 20, 30 minutes because they justify it really well. I'm looking forward to it. But we got our in and out. Somebody, did you get him a puppy patty? Maybe. <laughs> but I, they finally have the holiday wrappers. Family, I am family to in and out and they're family to me. It is insane. There we go. Season's greetings. Super cute. Hi guys, much later now. Don't mind my skin, but I just got out of the bath. It was glorious. And we're exhausted, but it's only, it's it's eight. We're trying to make it till nine, so we just put on the Grinch and we're gonna watch that. I'm not like fully done decorating. I have a little bit more to do, but it's feeling really nice and cozy and festive in here and I'm very excited about it. You guys have seen peaks of it in this video, but if you want like a full video of like a tour, we can do that later on in the month when I'm done. And yeah, we're gonna watch The Grinch. I'm gonna heat up some cookies that Bradley made the other night. I got my Kate Spade Christmas blanket. There's no guarantee I won't fall asleep down here, but we were gonna watch the movie in bed, but if I get in bed, I will fall asleep, so. This movie is a little long. It loses me there in the middle for a little bit, and then it brings me back, but I love the beginning of it. Um, but yeah, anyway. Ludi, do you wanna come say goodbye to the vlog? But also, we're not seeing it make yourself comfy cozy but i just wanted to say good night and this vlog here i will of course still be vlogging throughout this coming week but i'm just going to i'm gonna try to start them on monday end them on sunday so it is sunday evening i hope you guys had a great week i hope you guys have a great week to come i love you so much and i'll see you soon bye